Alright, hey gun people. Today we're going to talk about ammo and your Raven MP25. Um, start off by making sure this 25 is unloaded. So, almost fumbled the gun there. There's the magazine, hold six. Nothing in the chamber there. I know you can't see it on camera, but I can. And then just dropping the firing pin right there. So, um, this is the best stuff I have uh, or have shot. This PMC ammunition bronze. It's a 50 grain full metal jacket. Um, this seems to be work working the best because uh, I don't have any failure to feeds. No sort of light strikes, which I commonly get with other types of ammunition. Um, I'd recommend this for anyone who wants to give their Raven a shot and see what ammo works best. Um, a lot of people say these Ravens are unreliable, finicky, a uh, 25 auto pistol is probably the worst gun you can have. Um, I disagree. You'll probably take this with you more places than you would your 4.5 inch barrel Glock or CZ or SIG or whatever. Um, like they say, 45, I mean 25 in the pocket is better than the 45 left at home. And I agree with that. Um, this is some more of that exotic ammunition that you'll probably not be able to find is this Winchester Super X 25 uh, AXP is the name for it. So 25 AXP. This is uh, supposed to work as a expanding projectile. There's a steel ball on the tip of this. You might not be able to see it well because this is a low quality camera. but. There's a steel ball on there and it's a soft, soft uh, bullet. Softer than what you find in most of these full metal jackets. Uh, I find when I put one of these in the chamber and rack it out, there happens to be a lot of scuffing on the bullet. So it probably works. Um, who knows, this is only like a two and an eighth inch barrel. It's not very long at all. Um, what you'll commonly find at your big box retail stores is probably Winchester white box or Remington green and white box. Uh, this is just some leftover uh, Winchester and here's some Remington green and white box um, and maybe even Magtech. The ammunition that has worked the worst for me has been Magtech. Um, constantly have having problems with uh, failure to feed. Um, it wasn't such a mag issue, it was probably more the ammunition I was using, or maybe my firearm wasn't clean. But I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, so the point of this is, is you got to find out which ammunition works out the best for you in your Raven. Because obviously this is a cheap gun. I bought this in 2019 for uh, $92. And... Uh, when it comes to them being clean, these ravens really like to be clean on the feed ramp and anywhere there's friction. So you might be able to see on my barrel that I have a little bit of scuffing right there. Um, that's because it's making a lot of contact with the slide. These ravens do like to be clean. They probably work best lightly lubricated. I personally use a wire dryer like from O'Reilly. Um, it's a petroleum based product so personally in my opinion anything you can use on a car to you know oil it or clean it you could probably use on a gun um, so yeah I I actually use wire dryer to clean this and I can make a video on how I clean my Raven and make sure it works reliably Oopsies. let's put that back in there So yeah, try out different ammunitions, see what works best in your Raven, um, and keep it clean. They aren't as crappy as everyone likes to say they are. I've actually had a lot of fun with this gun and I don't know if I'd honestly get rid of it. 